The San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site is the location of the Battle of San Jacinto. And it's located off the Houston Ship Channel near the city of La Porte, Texas. In this park, you can find the San Jacinto Monument, where you can see the Houston Ship Channel and look at the battleground where Texas won its independence from Mexico. The San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site was built in 1836 in an area of 1,200 acres. Underground water has led to severe land subsidence and erosion along the Bay Area shoreline, especially in the Baytown Pasadena area. Since the beginning of the 20th century, approximately 100 acres of the battleground have become submerged under the bay. The Battle of San Jacinto took place on April 21, 1836. In the present day, La Porte and Pasadena, Texas. It was the final battle of the Texas Revolution led by General Samuel Houston for the Texas Army and General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana for the Mexican Army. The Texan Army defeated the Mexican Army in just 18 minutes. The Mexican Army expected the Texas Army to attack the morning of April 21st. But when it didn't happen, the Mexican Army loosened their guard. They were exhausted from an all-night march. 500 reinforcements were allowed to rest. The Texas Army attacked in the afternoon. Unaware of just how unprepared their enemy was, the Mexican Army had a strength of 1,360 men and one cannon. And the Texas Army had a force of 910 men and two cannons. The Mexican Army had 650 men killed, 208 wounded, and 300 captured. And the Texas Army had 11 killed and 30 wounded. The Mexican Army tried to retreat or escape the battleground. In four directions, and for many, surrender was not possible. It is not possible to tell what the battleground looks like back then. But it was not like today's day. Lots of places in Texas fly six flags, but the six flags flying in front of the San Jacinto Monument are unique. They fly six flags that represent key sites from Texas. They represent events and locations that were important to achieve that victory. Who knows if people would like to join the Texas Army? If the war doesn't spark in Gonzales and the war doesn't start when it started, we can't forget the men who died at the Alamo and Goliad.